how to solve the number partial. Let's look at the thousands digit A first. A cannot be zero, right? A cannot be two or larger. If A equals two, two times nine equals 18, we will have a carry to the 10,000th place. Not good. So A can only be one. But then one times nine equals nine. So D equals nine. We can update the puzzle. So we get one B C nine times nine equals nine C B one. Next, let's look at the hundred digit B. B cannot be two or larger. If B equals two, two times nine, 18, then one times nine equals nine plus one, we get 10,000. Again, we create a carry to the 10,000th place. Not good. So the only possible values for B would be B equals one or zero. But if B equals one, let's see what happens. So we get one, one, say nine times nine should equal to nine, say one, one. Let's do the multiplication. Nine times nine equals 81. To make the tens digit as one, the one digit of the product of say and nine must be three. We know seven times nine equals 63. But then 63 plus A equals 71. So 1 times 9 equals 9 plus 7 equals 16. So C must be 6 instead of 7. Not good. So the only possible value for B would be 0. So B equals 0. But then the puzzle becomes 1, 0, C, 9 times 9. The outcome should be nine say zero one. Let's do the multiplication again. Nine times nine, 81. To make the tens digit as zero, the ones digit of the product of say and nine must be two. We know eight times nine equals 72. Good, so we get say equals eight. Let's verify. Nine times nine equals 81. 9 times 8 equals 72 plus 8 equals 80. 0 times 9, 0 plus 8 equals 8. 1 times 9, 9. Yeah, we solve this puzzle with A equals 1, B equals 0, C equals 8, D equals 9. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe.